one thing that we said is that we wanted to find a way that people who use the building will pay for the building. So we have um, the Convention and Visitors Bureau money, $10 million, which has to be used for a tourism-related function. It can't be used for homeless. It can't be used for affordable housing. It has to be used for something that is going to generate tourism. So $10 million of that will go towards the Performing Arts Center that we voted on. Um, and then we looked at other ways that we could do user fees, and one was this ticket facility fee, which is $4. So if you don't buy a ticket, you don't pay the $4. So the average person who doesn't want to go to the Performing Arts Center is not going to pay that $4. The other way that we financed our portion was in um, enhanced parking, uh, premium parking spaces. Again. If you don't want to go to the Performing Arts Center and you don't want one of those premium parking spaces, you're not going to pay for it. The people who use the building, they are the ones who are going to pay for it. And that is how we were able to hobble together the city's portion. And it is a really unique way between the public-private partnership, how we are going to have this great building which is going to last for decades and decades and decades. This will be part of our legacy. You know, unfortunately, when we're long gone, Jamal, you'll be around. Yeah, you'll be around. <laughs> you know, we, we are, you know, this is a legacy that we are leaving for our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, that they will have this wonderful building that they'll be able to take advantage of. And at some point, you just have to trust that things are going to happen.